so when do you start solids with your baby how do you start solids with your baby and here on this channel it's all about first-time moms and their babies I discuss tips that is as important to all first-time moms this channel was created as a very terrible result a very terrible um, situation I went through and um, it, it has really have a toll on me and even my hair is still not yet fuller like before however since I'm here I'm going to share with you my experience everything I share here on this channel is from my experience and so make sure you do not take my advice in you know for the pediatrician's advice you always see your pediatrician however you can learn some tips from what I experienced and it's going to help you with your baby especially if you are a first time mom if this is your first time here feel free let me know your name in the comment section tell me if this video has helped you you know determine when it's appropriate for you to uh, feed your child with solids or if you've been here with me all the time let me know how valuable this video has been to you leave a thumbs up in in there for me just to motivate me to bring you more content and you can share the link thank you everyone i do hope my heart to you so let's go straight to today's video when and how do you start solids with your baby and what exactly do you have to feed your child with so first let's know when the baby your baby is ready to feed how do you know if your child is ready to feed okay so one your baby should be able to sit up straight and then have uh, you know no support the baby should be able to sit up straight with no support at all they should be able to sit up straight on their own okay yes and the baby should be able to support the neck to, to, to hold the neck straight it shouldn't be wobbly you shouldn't have a wobbly baby head yes to sit and swallow when your baby picks up items and then takes it to their mouth it means that your baby is ready to eat solids now let me share my experience with my daughter when i noticed she wanted to eat solids actually i did i exclusively breastfed her and i had people telling me that if you exclusively breastfeed your baby she's not going to eat well she's not going to feed well so they will try to discourage me from you know um, feeding exclusively breastfeeding but however when i started solids when i saw that anytime we take him food to eat something she's ready to eat the food she wants she opens up her mouth she wants to eat what you're eating so she's looking at every movement you're making with the food and your mouth and you see i you know decided that well this month karen is okay to eat something so that's how come i noticed or i found out that karen wanted to eat something wanted to eat okay yeah so it may be far from yours so that's one way i got to know that she wanted to eat food now when i started i was i was anxious because i was told that she wasn't going to eat solids because i exclusively breastfed her now it happened that it was a lie or it is a lie she actually ate i have a video of our first time um taking solids here on this channel i'm going to put a link here in the description also i have an affiliate channel i have an affiliate link to um infant formulas that you is closer to breastfeeding that you know you can make a purchase of some of those formulas through my affiliate link and when you do that i'm going to get some bonuses to you know take care of myself and my child so make sure you do make a purchase just that i don't have time to you know shorten the link 
for you to believe that the link is legitimate or legal for you to click on it however it's legitimate it's legal <laughs> so um the first time i felt caring i actually um was scared i thought she wasn't going to eat the food but i ate, she ate it due to how i introduced it to her okay so what foods should you introduce to your baby for the first time now this comes back to what i fed carry i bought cereals the first food was with nestle cerealac so she had nestle cerealac rice which is cereal i believe it had a lot of milk but i wasn't sure of the sugar content so i stopped after some time and switched on to something else so uh, i fed her with the rice the cereal nestle cerealac cereal and she ate you know as you, you don't need to push everything into your baby's mouth it has to be uh, bit by bit petit a petit right yes so you have to feed her cereals if you can feed her grains but you have to mash it or blend it you can also feed her vegetables make sure the vegetables you know you cut them into pieces and you mix it with her food very very tiny you know she be very very tiny pieces so that she can chew a little on them and then also swallow okay and um, you should you should try different foods now yes so this come back to the same um caring first time feeding i told you i started with uh, cerealac and we did that for for two days we did that for two days it was consistent for two days and then i switched to because to me the rice was too sweetened i switched on to the nestle, nestle cerealac <laughs> maize so that one didn't have so much sugar content so i switched on to the maize i switched on again to i think it had fruits so you should be switching the fruits to find out which one your baby is likely to eat more so this time you are trying to develop the taste parts so is the baby okay with eating rice does the baby have allergies to you know the rice or does the baby have allergies to the maize or you know so i kept you know checking if the cereal i was giving her was okay when i noticed that it was okay that was when i brought her yeah. to i introduced the foods we eat at home like the porridge Ghanaian porridge and all to her for her to eat and it also cut cost for me but all babies are different some babies may not have their mothers available uh, maybe their mother was lost during delivery therefore they did not get to take breast milk so you prefer to introduce formulas to them or you feed on formula but really according to pediatricians your baby should start um, solids at exactly six months or after six months but every child bruh but every child is different okay so how do you prepare your foods i have a list of foods i have prepared here on this channel some it was in a heavier you know bonus form others were in liquid form and so you have to make sure that your meals are in puree form and porridge forms they are mashed they are very smooth in textures they are very soft so that your baby can swallow make sure you don't put in meat um uh, how should i say bones yes in the in the meals you should see you know bone every um pinchy material from the foods that you're going to feed your child make sure you cut pepper you should cut the pepper 
that you're going to give to your, your child because it may be harmful to your child and most importantly feed your child slowly to allow your child to digest the food swallow them <clears throat> and then um, they, sh they get satisfied make sure that if you're going to feed give your child water it should be clean water that you trust in and um, <clears throat> I fed carrying alkaline water. I knew it was too early for the alkaline water, but that was what I trusted in. And she has grown beautifully and healthy. Yes. So, guys, thank you for making time for me to watch this video. Thank you. Let me know how important this video is to you. Let me know how this video has provided you with value if you've been here for the first time thank you click on the like button make sure you subscribe if this is um, if you've been here all the time i appreciate you um, do well to share the video link and also ask your friends to subscribe to this channel just motivate me to bring you more insightful educational materials or you know about your babies and all that guys i'm going to sign out here you know i don't have a sign in or sign out anything it's just like that <laughs> thank you for watching and i'm going to see you some other time in the next videos bye bye